What's in there? It's a chain. Hey guys, this is a quick vid on chain maintenance and running two chains. It's something that you might want to do going forward. It's not a necessity, but it's uh, convenient and also depending on where you ride if it's really dusty dirty if you ride in mud if there's a lot of sand and whatnot um, if your chain gets really dirty really fast you might want to run two chains so essentially I have one chain on the bike and this chain I just dumped in this bottle filled with mineral spirits and mineral spirits is essentially a solvent and slash degreaser so basically stick the chain in here and shake it around leave it for a day or two and let's see, you can see the chain on the bottom let me let me shake this up here so basically all the uh, the dirt and grime it's settled with the chain so there you go can't see no chain no more but anyway that's the amount of uh, dirt and grime and uh, all the lubricant that you've put on the chain uh, all in one here and you know in uh, a day it'll all settle to the bottom and you'll see just like before you'll see the uh, the uh, mineral spirits uh, that's fairly clear and you could reuse it too basically I fish out this chain I stick it in another bottle of mineral spirits shake it up get the residual uh, dirt and grime off the chain then uh, just basically wipe it down uh, nail it to the fence and then let it dry out for a couple of days and then uh, it's ready to use basically after you fish it out of this you don't want to like blow it dry with a with an air compressor and stick it on your bike because inside the um, the links there's a roll pin and there's a lot of little crevices in there and then you get residual um, mineral spirits in there or uh, degreaser and then when you go to lube your chain that's it'll actually start breaking down your lube so you pretty much want to let it air dry for three or four days just leave it out there and then you'll have a train chain that's ready to go for your bike so try it out uh, let me know how it goes and then just one other thing that you might want to think about for those that are really particular about their bike you can put a little tie wrap on the and then indicating the side that goes on the chain ring in the front and the cassette on the back so it would ride on this side here so after you clean it you'll want to flip it over so you get the wear on the other side of the chain so it's even wear so it's something something that you could do for people that are really particular about their bike and, and their chain and they're real detail oriented. So it's one way of uh, getting even wear on the chain. And I, I run the chain for two to three months and then just slap the new one on. Let me know how you like it if you decide to go this route of chain cleaning. And I'll see you guys on the trail.